This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Cat lovers and feline friends, it's time for Adele Park's Quirky Catnips. Is your cat singing a somebody done somebody wrong song following a trip to the groomers? They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Such was the case when I innocently deposited my seven-month-old Siberian kitten at the pet groomers. I live in the desert. Even though we spend an obscene amount on air conditioning, I was concerned Allison's long fur coat would be hotter than a pistol this summer. In addition to some housekeeping measures such as clipping her nails, I instructed Allison's groomer to do a short trim on the undercarriage, medium on her sides and back, and to leave her tail alone since she's quite proud of this feather duster of an attachment. Two hours later, I returned to find Allison's belly had been shaved to the skin, revealing an unsightly pink inner tube. Note to self, dial back on the kitty chow already. The rest of Allison's fur was cut so short, she looked like she'd just completed nine months of chemo. Her tail, the one I asked them not to touch, now resembles a pregnant pipe cleaner. The groomer did leave a strange ruffle of longer fur circling Allison's face, which only serves to make her neck look like a number two pencil. The overall effect looks like Allison is auditioning to be the mascot for the band Big Head Todd and the Monsters. The only thing these people did right was trim her potty patch. In fact, they were so thorough in their efforts you could spot Allison's poop portal from outer space. On the upside, I won't have to worry about kitty crustaceans hanging off her bumper for the next couple months. I didn't mean to chortle when I got a glimpse of this disaster, but that's my typical reaction to tragedy. Allison's response was to hide in the closet and furiously groom herself. She was so manic about it, I was afraid she'd lick off what little fur she had left. The only thing I can do to rectify this situation is to refrain from posting any pics of this hideous hairstyle on Facebook. With any luck at all, Allison's mane will grow back before someone sees what I did and files a complaint against me with PETA. Not that I don't deserve it. Don't be a jerk. Listen to the quirk. Quirky cat gets ghosted, that is. This zany audiobook by Adele Park is the cat's meow. Find out what happens when a ghost gets trapped at the DMV and requires the assistance of a snarky cat named Skitters to help her cross over. I'm so happy I could heave hairballs. Quirky Cat Gets Ghosted. Get ghosted today on audible.com. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.